Hello, John Braun with Hitman Advertising here. I wanted to make a quick video to show you some of the ins and outs and benefits to using Google AdWords, as well give you a few tips on what you can do to make your Google AdWords campaign more profitable. So the first thing that I love about Google AdWords is the fact that it's super, super flexible. And I'm sure most anybody that uses Google AdWords can uh, vouch for the same type of thing. Uh, when you use AdWords, you don't need a contract. You can start and stop your campaign anytime you want to start and stop it. And you can spend as much or as little as you want. The fact of the matter is, no other advertising media out there offers this type of flexibility. If I decide that I want to start a Google AdWords campaign right now, it can be up and running within the next hour. I can be getting traffic to my website. If I decide I want to stop it at midnight tonight, I can. If I decide I want to stop it at uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I can. It's super, super flexible. If I decide I want to test out five different ads in the course of the next week, I can do that. I can test out 10 different ads in the course of the next day if I want to. If I decide I only want to spend $5 a day, I can spend $5 a day. If I want to spend $100 a day, I can probably find a way to spend $100 a day, although that would be difficult to do in most cities with Google AdWords. Uh, but it's just super, super flexible, and, and, and it's just most other advertising media, in fact, no other advertising media offers that type of flexibility. Uh, the potential for big returns are huge, largely because of the flexibility. Uh, you can definitely get a lot better returns on average, and more cleaning companies are getting better returns on average on Google AdWords than they are on the standard yellowpages.com, or not yellowpages.com, well, probably even yellowpages.com as well, but in a standard Yellow Pages book is what I really mean for sure. Um, the ads can easily be tested uh, because of the fact that they're flexible, because of the fact that you can try one ad, and if it doesn't work, try a different ad tomorrow. You can also split test ads, so super easy to test different ads. As well, you can run different ads for different services. Let's say you've got one ad campaign for uh, area rug cleaning, another campaign for water damage, another campaign with a whole separate ad that you're testing out for pet odor removal. Uh, different ads you know, are super easy to test out in Google AdWords. Uh, as well, you can use it to make uh, up for where your organic SEO lacks. And what, do I, what I mean by that is, in fact, let's go over to the Google search and I'll show you kind of what I mean for some of you who uh, don't know for sure. You want to even know where AdWords is and what AdWords means. Um, basically, when I go to, in this instance, I'm typing in carpet cleaning Houston in Google. And I'm getting a, a search. I'm asking Google to show me the best websites in the world related to Carpet Cleaning Houston. And here I've got, at the top, Google AdWords ads. And the other place that the Google AdWords ads are, are right down here on the right. And this is where the ads show up. Now, these are the organic places. Now, these are ads. These are paid for. And you pay every time I were to click on one of these, which I'm not going to do because it will charge the company money. But uh, every time you were to click on one of these, it would cost this company a certain amount of set money, depending on what they've bid for. Here, this is the actual Google search. This is where people are showing up for, uh, they've actually optimized their website to show up on the top of Google for these particular keyword phrases. Um, this takes a lot of time, this takes a lot of effort, this can take a lot of money to get to, to show up here. But what I'm saying is in the meantime, sure, yes, you should do some organic SEO. Uh, in fact, in the, in the long run, it's a little bit cheaper to do organic SEO. However, uh, it's quicker to get listed, obviously, on Google AdWords. Um, and it's it's still even a little bit more flexible because you can change and test out different things. And what can happen, too, is while you're trying to do some organic SEO, it's a good idea to do an AdWords campaign to get some traffic to show up to test out the sales ability of your website. And that's you know some of the big reasons why you're going to want to do that. Test some things out, find out what works, find out what doesn't work. So let's go back to our mind map here. And... Um, uh, you know, but testing out uh, testing out different things using AdWords to make up for where your uh, organic SEO and where your actual ranking is lacking can be huge, and that's you know really what you want to use largely Google AdWords for. So let's talk a little bit about AdWords versus other searches or other websites that you would want to get listed for online like yellowpages.com. I mean, there's other paid versions as well that you can get if you've ever registered for Merchant Circle. They'll try to sell you an upgraded something. Dex will try to sell you an upgraded something. Uh, several of them online will. I'll venture to say, though, that most of the time you want to deny those. There are occasions where if you do have a lot of followers on Merchant Circle or Dex where you might want to spend a few dollars per month. But for the most part, you're going to get a better bang for your buck on something like Google AdWords. A uh, quick story about a conversation I had with 
a Yellow Pages rep a little while back. Normally, I don't entertain the idea of something like yellowpages.com or a listing like that, but for the purposes of research and for knowing what's out there, I spoke with my rep in some detail about yellowpages.com. So he had me pull up yellowpages.com website, and the very first thing that I noticed is that there were uh, the links on the site were no follow links. In other words, if I had a listing there, I would have a link that wasn't actually followed by the search engines. Now, if you know anything about SEO, you know that that means something. It doesn't really make or break anything. Um, however, all else being equal, I'd rather have a no follow link, especially if I was paying a premium for that link. So he uh, kind of had one point against them right there from the very beginning, in my opinion. Um, and then I started asking him probing questions that probably your standard layman in advertising wouldn't know to ask about. I asked him things like, how many people are actually searching this particular page for my city, Carpet Cleaning Pensacola, how many people are actually searching and getting on this page every month? And he said, on average, about 260. And I'm instantly going, hmm, that doesn't sound really all that great. 260 impressions is what that really actually means, but the possibility of getting 260 clicks. Now, keep in mind, even if you got top ranking, you're not going to get 260 clicks. So then I had to ask him, well, how much is the listing? Well, he said, if I want to be in the very top, the top one or two, I'm going to pay $230 a month. Ooh, that's expensive. Uh, what if I want to be on the uh, somewhere on the page, lower on the page, $85 a month? Well, the thing is, those other guys that are low on the page probably are getting very few, if any, clicks at all. To, and spending $85 a month uh, for a no-follow link is super, super expensive. So uh, even, to be honest with you, $230 a month for 260 impressions, that's almost a dollar just for somebody coming to that page, regardless of whether they click on my site. Ouch! <laughs> that that is that's super expensive. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how they can actually justify that type of uh, money. Um, as well, considering the fact that in AdWords, because this is what usually goes on in AdWords, um, I have actually been on the top for AdWords and tested out being on the top and found out with a well-designed campaign. I don't mean just a haphazard campaign, but a very finely tuned campaign. It cost me about $100, $108 to have a thousand impressions per month. So in other words, I, that's about how many impressions there were total in the months that I had done this test. Uh, and I had spent $108 to get all these impressions. That's, you know, considerable difference. $230 for 260 impressions or $108 for a thousand impressions. What's better? And the other beneficial thing too is when somebody does search for carpet cleaning in your city name in AdWords, chances are they're looking to hire a cleaning company. Maybe not all the time, but more likely than not. So what's better? $230 for 260 impressions or $108 for a thousand impressions? And, and here's what it boils down to. AdWords average uh, about $1.80 per click. And again, this is just in my city. Your city could be different, but in my test case, it's about $1.80 per click. And I could venture to say that the average or the, the percentages for how much this is going to be could be more or less but about the same amount per search in your given city uh, on yellowpages.com i would pay anywhere from on the very low end the cheapest end i could possibly pay is if i got all the clicks i'd be paying five dollars a click or if i got most of the clicks i'd be paying five dollars a click upwards of maybe 45 dollars a click oh my gosh you know 45 dollars a click how in the world could you make any money off of that and by the way when you get a click to your site all that really means is, for instance here, if I were to click here, this company would pay for that click. That doesn't mean that they're going to buy anything. That just means that they're going to come take a look at my website. Oh my gosh, is that, you know, how can they how can they actually justify that and make that work? It's very, very expensive. And I don't really know very many cleaning companies who've actually um, been thrilled to death that they bought an ad on yellowpages.com. So there you go. AdWords can be a lot more flexible. And, and again, the, the whole issue of it being inflexible. You And I, I spoke with them and asked them with the yellowpages.com rep, what if I want to quit next month? Well, I can't. I'm in a year-long contract. Well, what if I want to change the ad? Well, you don't really have much of an ad to change. It's not really anything that's individual. It's just a directory listing. Super expensive. Probably, and I can't say for your company, but probably something that you don't want to do. Ah, so there you have it. 
A few tips on what you're going to definitely want to do, though, when you do get a Google AdWords ad, is you want to make sure that whatever you talk about in your ad, that you deliver on your promise. You do want to give some type of a benefit, promise, or guarantee in your ad. You want to make sure that whenever they click on your ad, that they actually, that you actually deliver on that pro promise with the page that you lead them to from the Google AdWords ad. If you don't do that, you're probably just going to waste your money on Google AdWords anyway. You want to make sure your website sells and it's got a good sales message and uh, you make some good selling points in your ad. And as well, you want to mention your city name in your ad. Because remember, when they go to Google, they Google something like Carpet Cleaning Houston, if you don't have the words Houston, which most of these ads really don't, here he does here in the, in the domain name, if you don't have the words Houston here in the ad, they don't know for sure that if you're a national company or a local company or what, you want to let them know for sure, here we do down here in this ad, but you want to let them know for sure that they found an ad that's, or a listing that's associated with the search term that they searched for. So, there you have it. And just make sure when they click that you're delivering on whatever promise and whatever thing that you've offered them in the Google AdWords ad. Uh, with Hitman Advertising, we do lots of training on all types of internet marketing, Google AdWords in particular. In fact, very soon we've got a Google AdWords course coming up that you can participate in. Uh, on average, most people that attend this course save themselves lots of money, sometimes hundreds of dollars every month in Google AdWords. You can easily set up a Google AdWords campaign and waste three or four hundred dollars a month if you're not careful, if you're not having your AdWords campaign uh, optimized, if you're not really doing the right things with your Google AdWords campaign. So if you're having trouble, if you're not really getting profit with your AdWords campaign, I invite you to join the course. You'll probably uh, see a link below this video. I invite you to uh, check it out and we'd love to have you as part of the course.